Hey OG Nation, welcome back to part 3 of my Yu-Gi-Oh! GX playthrough. And today we're going to continue building up hearts and trying to get to the first story event. And today I have my special guest from the Pokemon Heracross Solar Run today. And uh, yeah, Ryan, say hi to the people. How's it going everybody? Yeah, so today, Ryan, we're just going to duel people and just talk about life and everything. And I hope you are ready for it. I am ready. I'm prepared, brother. So, I know you don't know much about Yukio, but, I mean, just tell me what, I mean, at least, like, your experience with it. Like, did people ever come up with you to it, or? Um, so, I mean, I've seen a little bit of the show. Um, not much. I mean, it's just with friends uh, every once in a while. Um, they'll put it on. But, uh, I know that it's, uh, it's a big media, um. And obviously, I've grown up with people who have played it, um, so it's I'm not completely foreign to it. I'm just not well versed in the in the specifics of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. So yeah, I mean it's a it's a good card game. Like I just enjoy it. I always grew up with it. I um, mean, you know the goal of it, don't you? Or I don't. No. So do you see that eight thousand point on the top right? We have to get that down to zero. And a monster has like an attack value. So let's say I attack with that 17. So you do 80 minus 17. So he'll he'll be at 6,300. Okay. So your goal is to try to lower it down to uh, zero, if that makes any sense. So if I summon DD Assailants and it has 19, and this one has 19, it'll destroy each other. But let's say he has 18, then he'll take 100 points of damage. Gotcha. Yeah, so it's not that terribly difficult to learn, you know? So, uh, Ryan, just talk about yourself, man. I mean, did you, uh, what games did you grow, grow up playing? Well, uh, mostly, uh, you know, I didn't really have a, a console growing up for a, a lot of time. Um, the, the main console I had growing up was the Wii. Um, and I would play basic Mario games. Mario Kart uh, was a great one. And uh, had a GameCube, if anybody remembers those. There's a throwback. Um, played Mario Party. Um, and uh, Lego Star Wars, obviously, is a big part. But uh, other than those kind of games, I, I didn't grow up playing that much. So, never owned a DS, never owned a PlayStation or an Xbox growing up. Um, I didn't get an... Oh, I got an Xbox when I was like, I don't know, 12 or 13. Um, and that was a 360. And after that, um, I don't think I've had a console. Well, you also had an Xbox One, didn't you? Oh, I did. That's right. For a little bit. Uh, there for like maybe a year, uh, a couple of years ago. So. Whatever happened to it? I actually, I threw it away. I, uh. Why'd you throw it away? Was it just not working? Or? No, it was working fine. I just didn't like how much, uh, how much time I was spending on it. <laughs> spending a lot of my time on it, so. I mean, that's understandable. I mean, gaming does take up a lot of time. Yeah. It's just something I always grew up with, you know? I mean. I don't know why I didn't sell it. It uh, was kind of a stupid move on my part. Yeah, she just throw it in a dumpster. Is that I, what you did? That's exactly what I did. What? You could have at least got like a, a hundred bucks for it. Yeah, I just threw it out. That's... Well, my, my, my mode of thinking was that if I didn't throw it out immediately, I would never end up selling it. And I would just always have it around. So I, I was in the spurt of the moment and I, yeah. I threw it out because I was feeling it. And I, don't, I mean, I, know, I don't really regret it because I didn't... Uh, I never used it or wanted to use it again, so. Yeah, I mean, I, that's understandable. I mean. Yeah, so this card basically lets me play a little bit of defensive. So I don't take damage. Because 19 minus 13 is 600, you know? Right. So do you, do you get the math part of it? I get it, yeah, yeah. Like. Like, he has 1,000. So, like, let's say you attack him with a 19 and I'll take 900. Uh huh. You just do some simple subtraction. Okay. But he has the advantage right now because he has both the powerful monsters. I don't. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just glad that you're here, Ryan. I mean, I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel. I do feel like you're one of the people who trying to push me towards it. Yeah. Do you just think it was my voice or my enthusiasm? or? Yeah, I'd say that uh, most of the time it was just your love oh, of gaming. Good. And uh, your... Uh... Ability to entertain people, combined with just your uh, your fun-loving nature, I think was uh, just be a good fit. So, well, I think I lost this game, so I'm just gonna take it like a man, because he's gonna lower my life points to zero. Oh no! Listen, man, I tried, I tried, 
But I just can't. Trying ain't good enough, Jack. Listen, I can't build my deck yet. I don't have enough money. I'm broke. <laughs> like, what do you expect? God, that's embarrassing. I lost to a CPU. Thanks. It was all over that one. That was awesome. We lost. Well, I guess it had to happen sometime, man. So, yeah, that's my partner. So, you can do, like, tag duels, too. I guess I'll show you that. You can do a tag duel, or you can let your partner duel, or... So, yeah, I, I mean, I always grew up with Yu-Gi-Oh! I always enjoyed it. I see. This is, like, a game that we used to play, like, a summer camp. Which, I don't know if you've been to many summer camps with this, but... Yeah, I, I mean, I don't... I think Pokemon was the main thing that I witnessed at summer camps, but... I'm sure this was going around, too. Yeah, so this is my partner, Jaden Yuki. He's, like, the main character of the game. He's probably the best person in the game. He plays an, a hero deck, which is kind of like a theme of superheroes. Mm. So, this guy is kind of like the version of uh, Iron Man a little bit. Gotcha. Neo's Alias. His main card is Elemental Hero Neo's. That card is, like, a kid version of him. But he's a really good tag partner to have. So her effect is by giving up 2,000 life points, she gains 3,000 attack. Which is very good. But it's like a big cost, so you can't use it all the time. Look how much life points he loses. Wow. Just for 3,000 extra points. But we do take 15 in the process, so he's not losing that, that much. And I'm pretty sure that's on any person's turn. So this card allows me to change its battle position. So if, like, let's say an attack position monster attacks a defense position monster, then your life points are safe if your defense monster gets destroyed. It's only if if you attack him directly, or if you uh, attack an attack position to attack position. You know. Right. But like, if an attack position attacks a defensive monster, and the defensive has more defense points, then the difference comes out to the attacking monster's life points. Gotcha. So Heavy Storm destroys all spell and trap cards, which is not good for me. We might lose this one too, low key. So yeah, see our defensive monster protected us. Because 19 does not beat 2,000. Yeah. So uh, Ryan, what else do you want to talk about, my man? I mean, are you a big sports guy? or? Oh yeah. Big Bucks fan. TB12, baby. <sighs> I'm a Patriot fan. That just irritates me every time you say that. Well, I mean, Tom Brady's the greatest Buccaneers quarterback that's ever existed. So, I mean, it's not uh, – that's what he'll be remembered as, you know, when it comes down to it. You hated – you. I, I'm not going to say you hated him, but you definitely did not like him when he played for the Patriots. Well, I don't think anybody did except for Patriots fans. I did. I was a Patriot fan. Exactly. I'm saying except for Patriots fans. Nobody liked the Patriots dynasty because they won – I still don't like them. I don't like Bill Belichick. I, I loved that they lost the other night to the Rams. That was so nice. Wait, wait, what? The Patriots lost to the Rams. Uh, I know, I know. It's so depressing, though. I mean, you can't win them all, though, so. No, you can't. But you can win a lot more if you have Tom Brady. Listen, I think Tom Brady might be like... He's good, but he doesn't have any many more years in him. No, I mean, he's, he's definitely declining. He's Why did I do that? <sighs> I changed the defense. Go on. Wait, what'd you say? What were you saying? I said he's definitely declining. I mean, he's 43, so. You know. I mean, but he's still, like. I mean, he is probably the greatest quarterback they ever played the game. Like. Oh, absolutely. Of all the Super Bowl wins he has. I'd, and make, I'd make the case he's the greatest player to ever play the game. I He might be. And, you know, that's like a lot. I mean, he's definitely up there to be, like, the oldest person to play. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the game, so. Brett Favre played until he was like 44. I'm not sure. Maybe. I mean, he was in his he was in his 40s. I remember when he I mean when he retired he was he was pretty old. He was getting gray, you know. So. Yeah, he was like what 45? I don't know if he ever made it to 45, but he might have been 43 or 44. I'm thinking. Well, guys, I think we lost this game, and I hate to say that. We lost both our games today. And, uh... Yeah, Ryan, uh, I'm embarrassed. I won both of them be. yesterday. You should be embarrassed. I'm just gonna speed through my loss. This ain't good. 
Yeah, we lost. What do you got to say to that, Ryan? Uh... I'm not gonna lie, Jack. I'm a little underwhelmed by listen, your video skills. Listen, part two, I won both games. The first part, I lost one game. So listen, I'm just fifty-fifty with this game. Huh. Some Yu-Gi-Oh games are hard, man. It's really, but card games are luck of the draw, though. They are. So like, you you, you gotta cut me some slack on that part, you know? I don't want to go to class. But, uh, Ryan, I really hope you enjoyed this part. Um, thank you so much for joining me today, man. I mean, I really appreciate it. Well, I appreciate you having me. I'm uh, very, very happy to be a part of these videos. Uh, hope to be a part of more in the future, you know? Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, guys, thank you so much for watching. Ryan, do you have any last words to say to the beautiful people out there? Yeah, y'all have a great day. Just continue living your lives. Be the best version of yourself you can be. Be positive and go OG Nation. Yeah, especially in the times we're in right now. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, God first, God bless. Always be grateful for what you have. And always have fun in what you're doing. Let's build the OG Nation together. Hit that like button and subscribe for more. I will be back tomorrow for part uh, 4 my Yu-Gi-Oh! playthrough. And part 5 of my Haircross playthrough. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves a great rest of your day. And thank you and good night.